Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Today we are covering the Realistic Electric Trains mod. And uh, there's several electric train mods out there. I spotlighted uh, a couple of them myself. Uh, but this one caught my eye because it uses a method which, uh, hence the name, seems the most realistic out of all the ones I've spotlighted. So uh, what this does is this actually uses special power poles um, to run powered special electric wires like you would see on like electric trains in real life. Whereas some of the other mods, you know, had the trains carry like special battery things or the rails were powered, which I guess is a little more realistic. Um, but this one uh, just uses the power lines, right? So and now they're not normal power lines. They're special ones, of course. Uh, there is a technology for this. Uh, you can see here electric locomotives it adds locomotive and multiple power lines. Uh, now, the power lines are just an overhead line pole, which is just normal standard, which is what uh, these are. Uh, wrong button. And then there is one that comes with a normal signal, one that comes with a chain signal, um, an overhead line debugger, which I'll show you in a minute, and then the locomotive itself. Uh, now, the cool thing, too, is that normal trains can run on this just fine. It's, uh, you know, it's just a normal rail and stuff. And even if you have these poles going everywhere, normal trains can run through this just fine. Uh, so you need to connect this to a electric network, and of course it won't take power unless it's moving. Uh, and then you place these down. Now there are several options I want to cover here because these are kind of important. Uh, startup, there are none per player, there are none but under map. Uh, enable connection particles, you definitely want this on, I'll show you what that is in a minute. Uh, enable connection failure text, you probably want this on and I'll explain why. Zigzag wire. Uh, the wire will be moved left and right on the straight rails to mimic the zigzag pattern overhead lines in real life use. Uh, and then enable automatic circuit wires, which is why these have circuit wires on them. You can connect them automatically, but with these it won't carry over in a blueprint, so you probably will want to check this. And then enable rewiring neighbors. Uh, if you enable this, neighbors of newly placed power poles will be rewired. This fixes some weird wiring patterns, but takes more processing time. Uh, and then a maximum additional search distance. So the one thing with this, the one drawback, and this is a modding limitation uh, due to how the mod dev had to make these power poles. Uh, number one, they don't draw the power pole line when you go to place them, like a normal power pole would. You can see here, there's not any power pole line. Um, so it's not, you can't like hold down, click and run with it. You can't really see when it's connecting or not. Uh, the best option you have here is uh, that it, it it, connect, it can connect up to 16 tiles away, and if it's too far, it'll give you a warning. You can see here, cannot connect overhead line three tiles too far. Uh, so if I do that, it's one tile. If I do that, it works. Okay, and this is what the particles are here. Um, you can see there when I connected it, these green mean that it's obviously connected and working. Now, if I disconnect one, this whole thing is red and shows you that it's not working. Uh, now, if you want to check this, uh, like without placing poles, this is what this debugger is for. You just select what you want, and it will show you on here, and it will stay there for a few seconds and then fade away. So this is a really good way to like check intersections or just parts of uh, your line. Um, of course, if your wires are connected, then these should be connected as well. Uh, so obviously this would be a pain in the butt to do by hand, uh, so I would recommend blueprinting this. Again, the circuit wires won't carry over, but the... Uh, uh, the other wires will, theoretically, if I actually blueprint this correctly. Uh, so if we do like that, you can see the normal wires do. And actually it looks like the, well, the circuit wires do just because I enabled that option. So I would just get the distance you want and then blue and then use blueprints like that. Uh, so these guys are going. Uh, now if we drive this guy and check the power, you can see here, we're using some power. Uh, it's kind of flashing back and forth, of course, but... Uh, if you have multiple trains, this would obviously take even more power. And you can see here, so they uh, they work kind of like signals, and that's why uh, like signals in the fact that you can you place them directly on the track where a signal would place. And this is why the def has included ones with signals. Uh, now, personally, I would just do my own signaling uh, for a lot of this, but uh, on straightaways you could do maybe normal signals because you want them like every x distance anyway, depending how long your trains are and such. Uh, or this could be really great on intersections because this could get kind of difficult on intersections. So I brought one in here, normal intersection. So for example, if we use like a normal one here, we can actually place one anywhere until here, which is too far away. 
So what we could do is take a, a train signal one and place it, well, this is probably too far away too, but um, yeah, we could place it like here. And that would literally just, it, it would work because it's close enough. And then it would do the same thing as if I just had a chain signal there like I did normally. Um, so this is when this would be really helpful. Now at intersections, this can get quite messy. Uh, one option is to just not power entire section, like not power a whole section of it. Um, just power like part of it and the train should have enough momentum going through that it can be like powered up here and even if there's no power in here it should have the momentum to drift through into the next power section and then pick up speed again um, or you can just power the whole thing it'll just be a little visually messy uh, like that so uh, there you go and I mean that's pretty much it if you click these guys output on them you can turn them off I suppose if you wanted to uh, the zigzag thing I don't entirely uh, see now if you use ones that's one thing if you use ones without signals um, I guess this would be where the zigzag comes in um, it doesn't matter what side of the track you place them on so again with signals it matters but if you use the ones without signals you can place them on whatever side of the track you want now that one was too far away uh, but like this you can see I mean you know, maybe if this is more aesthetically appealing to you um, you can do that one last note is on curves. This can't be more than three tiles away on the curve than the last one. So, I mean, like, that would work. But uh, if you have a really long one, um, that would work too. But there's some curves where if it's, like, more than the three tiles or whatever, um, it won't connect. So just keep that in mind. And that's pretty much it, I believe. There is always a link in the description to the mod portal. You can check it out. And on the mod portal, the dev has linked... Uh, to the Factorio forums where they have a ton more information like they have picture tutorials and stuff So if there's anything that you didn't quite understand from this uh, or that I may have missed definitely check that out It's very detailed. I tried to cover as much as I could here though guys a really cool electric trains mod I really like it. I think it's cool that they use a lot utilizing the power poles uh, They do plan to add like special locomotive graphics too to actually make it look more like an electric one and you know connect to the wire and stuff like that so there you go. Hope you enjoyed. If you do have any thoughts or questions, leave them below. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.